Developed in the 1980s and available to the public since 1990, Coppercoat is possibly the most powerful and long-lasting anti-fouling system available today. This hard-wearing and densely copper-filled epoxy resin-based coating is already successfully protecting tens of thousands of boats the world over. With a proven lifespan of over 10 years, Coppercoat is repeatedly saving boat owners the time and expense of the annual anti-fouling routine. Copper coat is the combination of a specially developed solvent-free epoxy resin and high purity 99% copper. Each liter of resin is impregnated with two kilos of ultra-fine spherical copper powder, the maximum quantity allowed by current pesticide laws, making copper coat the strongest copper-based anti-foul available. Classified as non-leaching, this highly effective coating is considerably kinder to the environment than traditional self-eroding paint antifouls, while simultaneously being sufficiently powerful to continue to deter marine growth year after year. Indeed, correctly applied treatments resist barnacle and weed growth for a decade and more. The following film shows the simple stages of preparation and application that culminate in a successful copper coat treatment. You may be surprised at what a quick and easy process this is. As is common with all epoxy coatings, it's important that the surface to be coated is well prepared. All surfaces must be cleaned of all contaminants, including dirt, dust, grease, rust or loose coatings. Two-pack coatings, including copper coat, must only be applied to sound and permanent surfaces, which means that any previously applied coatings of single-pack paint or conventional anti-fouling must be fully removed. The best way to achieve this is to use a low pressure slurry blast of sand and water, although it's perfectly acceptable to remove old paint by hand, as shown here. Finally, the hull must be abraded to provide a good key for the new epoxy coating. The most efficient method is to use a random orbital sander with 60 to 120 grade discs. However, sanding by hand is again an option. Be sure to remove all the resulting dust before proceeding with the application. Finally, carefully mask around any hull depth sounders as it's best to leave these small areas untreated. Copper coat is supplied in three parts. Pack A is the white epoxy resin base. Pack B is the brown colored hardener. And finally, pack C is the pure copper powder. Empty the contents of pack A into an appropriately sized plastic container and pour in the bottle of pack B. Stir these together thoroughly before adding the copper powder. Continue to stir until a fully homogeneous mix is obtained, with all the copper being held in suspension. Using the mixing stick, feel that no copper is resting on the bottom of the container. During the pot life of this one litre mix, the copper may well settle to the bottom of the bucket. Consequently, always give a good mix when you return to the bucket to refill your roller tray. Similarly, do not overfill the roller tray as the copper will settle in the sump. It's better to use several small amounts, returning regularly to the mixing bucket for a freshly stirred product. Never mix more product than can readily be used within the time available. We recommend that only one litre be mixed at a time. As a guide, the mixed pot life of copper coat is approximately 40 minutes at 20 degrees centigrade. Though with two people applying the product with large rollers, a one litre unit will usually be applied within half that time. As with most epoxies, the pot life shortens as the ambient temperature rises. Therefore, be especially careful not to prepare too much copper coat in one go when working in high temperatures. As you can see, this demonstration yacht is being painted in good weather conditions, being dry and breezy with a temperature in the low 20s. In these conditions, the entire treatment will be applied within just a few short hours. Copper coat should always be applied immediately after mixing, while the epoxy is at its most fresh and fluid. Under usual circumstances, the product should be applied with short pile, preferably simulated mohair, rollers. Under no circumstances should you attempt to use long hair or brushes.
The application of copper coat is a multi-coat process. Start with a well-loaded roller and spread the paint evenly. Do not attempt to apply the coating too thickly, as this will only result in unsightly sags and runs. Continue painting, working along the hull until all of the mixed product has been used. Only when all of the first litre has been applied should the second litre be mixed. By only ever working with freshly mixed goods, the application will be smooth and even. On this 34-foot yacht, the first coat is complete within an hour. Don't worry that this first coat can appear patchy and that the gel coat is still visible. With the starting point already looking cured but feeling slightly tacky to the touch, especially noticeable at the thickest areas, the second can be applied. Never delay unnecessarily between coats. As can be seen, freshly mixed and applied copper coat appears slightly pink in colour. As the coating cures and the moisture is driven from the resin emulsion, copper coat dries to a more natural copper brown colour. Consequently, it's easy to see where you're going as you pass down the hull methodically with this second coat. As with most painting, for a seamless finish, always try to keep a wetted edge. As the coating's thickness builds, the gel coat becomes barely visible and the patchy appearance lessens. Occasionally, the treatment can look complete after just three coats, when in fact, a fourth is required. Usually, the treatment is completed with a fourth coat. By this stage, the coating appears thick, glossy and deeply copper-rich. While four coats are normally sufficient, it's imperative that all the supplied product is used. If any goods are left over after four coats, this just indicates that each coat has been applied slightly thinner than usual. In such an event, simply continue to apply additional coats to ensure the correct overall thickness. On this warm day and working with a team of four applicators and a mixer, this 34-foot yacht was fully treated within two and a half hours. More usually, working as a team of two, we would expect such an application to take approximately four hours. With copper coat being water-based, this user-friendly coating can be removed with plain water. However, act quickly as you'll need to wash any tools to be kept and yourself before the coating fully cures. You've just seen the application of copper coat to a cleaned and abraded fiberglass hull. However, for those requiring a greater level of protection against osmosis, copper coat can also be supplied with AMC's own range of matching epoxy resins. By applying additional resin before the copper coat, a thick and highly impermeable barrier can be created. Furthermore, copper coat can be applied over most proprietary brands of marine epoxy primers and anti-osmosis systems. Though please do check the compatibility with AMC or your local copper coat distributor. Copper coat has full approval from the health and safety executive for use as a marine anti-foul. For legal and environmental reasons, always ensure that your chosen anti-foul has such approval. Remember, it's illegal and potentially dangerous to anti-foul your boat with an uncertified pesticide. Copper coat is now protecting over 20,000 vessels worldwide. After 14 years of uninterrupted supply of this well-proven system, copper coat is the undisputed market leader in multi-season copper-based anti-fouls. AMC's unrivaled experience rightly installs immediate confidence and enables us to specify and supply individually tailored systems for all manner of craft and marine installations. Copper coat can be applied equally successfully to surfaces other than fiberglass, including iron, steel, concrete, wood and aluminium. Such surfaces may need specific preparation and priming, details of which can be readily obtained from AMC and our appointed distributors. Wow.